So hopefully you noticed the program made the LED flash on and off, getting faster and faster and faster as the time delay between each flash got smaller and smaller. However, you might have noticed that after a while, once it had flashed really, 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 really fast, it then seemed to stay on forever. I wonder if you know what happened here. You might have thought that the delay in between turning it on and off was so small that it was just staying at zero and we were just getting that half bright flashing that we saw when we first did blink. But it's actually a bit more subtle than that. What's happened here is that we've got down as far as zero in time delay and then we've tried to subtract 100 again. If you subtract 100 from zero, you get minus 100. But the way that computers store integers is that the same as minus 100 is actually positive a very large number. So what really happens is when it gets as far as zero, the delay goes to this very, very large number. And after a long period of time, you would have actually seen the LED turn off again. So that's it for variables in their basic form. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use variables for something a bit more interesting, for counting using the for loop.